Welcome back for year four, everyone. Uh, year four was the year of the Obama in Pokes. There was just it was all about change, and uh, you know change on both ends of the spectrum. On one hand, everything was getting more and more funneled into Smogan, and they were becoming the big conglomerate, you know, one and only community standard. And uh, as opposed to having you know numerous different options, and um, you know there are some good things about that and some bad things about that. So that created a sense of like even more OU and more serious and more mathematical. At the same time, you know, the game had been out for a little while, and, you know, Platinum had come out, and Heart Gold and Soul Silver had come out, so it's influxing all this new stuff at the same time, and that caused a lot of people with various ideas to start doing less serious things, and, you know, go off in the other direction, so there was a lot of other tiers being used, a lot of NU and things like that. Um, channels are starting to get a lot of variety. Mine specifically, I started putting up some of the Mega Man speedruns, uh, started running these crazy-ass tournaments with funky rules, um, just having huge numbers of people participate, you know, double a limb and things like that. Um, so there was, you know, it was really kind of both ends of the spectrum. There was, you know, hardcore going in this direction and just like, you know what, we just want to have fun now. We're too old for this crap. Uh, and just having, you know, good stuff in that regard going on too. Um, but there's really only one team that just kind of personifies the channel at hand. Uh, I think all of you are going to remember it and know it well. The Psycho Shift team from Battle, specifically 97 and 98, the two best by far. Um, that's, that's, I'll, I'll link those in the description so you guys absolutely need to check those out again if you haven't already. Even if you have, I'm sure Makar has seen it like 137 times, 0.7. Um, but uh, that, that's, that's where we're going to go for this video. Um, Flashbacks also came in year four. Rock, paper, scissors came in in year four. There was a lot of, you know, flash cart usage and things like that. Um, and because of the flash cart usage, unfortunately, like I mentioned in the first part, I'm going to try and do these as close to real as possible. Um, I'm going to have to have this battle on showdown, unfortunately. Um, same with the next couple of years because they, you know, they use my flash cart with diamond and heart gold, so silver, as, or sorry, platinum, as opposed to diamond. So... Um, I no longer have all that stuff, so sorry it's not going to be quite perfect, but it's the best I can do. I have to do something. Um, so there's that. And uh, I really just, I can't wait to get back with this team. This team was a blast to make. It was a blast to use, and just something something inside was just clicking on all cylinders d during those matches. And uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, could, I could discuss it for eight minutes if I really wanted, but I'll have to leave that for the description instead. I don't want to drag on too long. So without further ado, uh, like I mentioned, it was the start of RPS, so we're going to get to some RPS before the battle kicks off. Um, it's a special, so why not? Let's go six throws for, you know, six anniversary and all. And uh, let's see here. I'm cooking up a pot of wind. i got to think about this. In my mind, I was going to do three, but I just realized six is better. So uh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. And... Oh, that would be way too obvious. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Let's go there. Probably shouldn't have. Anyway, guys, hopefully you'll enjoy. It's going to be a great video, a great battle with a great team. Um, and it was just all sorts of greatness. Year 4 was... Year 4 was probably the best. Year 4 was amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for sticking around with me this long, and uh, see you in just a second. Can't wait. Peace, guys. Hello, Traveler. Welcome back. Here we are for Year 4 against 2nd, the King of Novelty, the King of Lulz. And uh, the first match we start off with here, uh, I have Tropelberry, but he gets a crit on turn one, and he didn't like that. He took it upon himself saying, no, this is for a special, this is stupid. He didn't want to deal with that. I feel kind of lame about it, but that was his call. He wanted it to be a good vid, so here we are um, taking turn one crit out of here. I'm into torrent range. Uh, it's perfect he had a lead Machamp, by the way. Like This is why I'm holding Tropelberry. It was amazing he had one. And uh, he's got lower defenses. I'm in Torrent. I'm just going to fire off a... Holy crap, that did a lot. Uh, I had actually forgot about Torrent mid-battle. I just thought that did a lot. Now I obviously realize why. Um, obviously, there's no way to know what kind of Shaman it is yet. Um, so I'm just really thinking on where I want to switch around to. I go to Crest because that's what this team does. You go to Crest to take the first hits. 
you know, whatever. Um, unfortunately, so far, we've seen a Guts Machamp and a Natural Cure Poke, so Psycho Shift right now is 0 for 2 and being relevant. But, uh, I mean, I'm going to try for it anyway. Uh, he ends up using Rest, which I think is awesome. I've always wanted to use a Starmie that had Rest. Uh, looks like he's got a Life Orb Shaman with Rest. I just think that's really, really cool. Um, but, again, I don't really know what to do. Uh, I don't want to give this guy Guts, but I might have to eventually. So it's just in the back of my mind. Um, I'm resting up to full full points, so I know I can put something to sleep. And uh, that's what I'm just going to go for. I put him to sleep. That's cool. Uh, Flame Orb activates, whatever. And now I just, what do I really want to go to? He is Guts, so he might actually have Sleep Talk, but I don't know that yet. Um, unfortunately, playing on Showdown, using a Dragonite, makes me think 5th Gen, where Dragonite just comes in and wins the game when it has a free turn. But that's not the way the Dragonite on this team was supposed to work. Um, and there I just ruined him. He got Sleep Talk to Ice Punch, which used my Yachtberry and saved my life. But now I have to go in here naked with, you know, just no dances and outrage right off the bat. And then his freaking Scarf Terry. Ah, his signature dude, freaking Terry. I can't believe he got me again. Um, I thought about going to either Gobi or Heatran, because Gobi I know would be able to fire off Torrent, Hydro Pumps on everything with Stealth Rock up. But I figured Heatran, you know, Stealth Rock is up, I'll get Torrent, or not Torrent, I'll get Torment up and my sub. It should be good to go. This is all he needs to stall out entire teams. Uh, Gira comes in. He doesn't want any of that Torment crap going on, though, so he taunts me first. I'm just going for Burn Hacks. And here, I think about switching around, even though I have a sub, because I don't want him getting Dances. But I figure, you know, if he is dancing up, that means I'm lava pluming him, getting a little bit of damage on there, and giving myself more chances for burn. So I'm going to have to wait for him to waterfall first before I switch. He ends up just switching anyway, so that's fine. And I know he wants to rapid spin, and I really, really, really need that stealth rock still there. So it's a good sub. It's not a great sub, but I'm just going to have to throw it away, go out to Gengar, prevent the spin. Even though knowing there's very little here I can do, I'm going to try and set up a sub myself just to see. Uh, unfortunately, Hydro Pumps, and it's like, well, I guess I got rid of one PP of it. Um, it'd be nice to try and stall it a little bit more, but uh, I go for another one. He switches to Ice Beam. He's not going to play that game. It's like, crap. Well, now I wasted my Torment Trans sub for Stealth Rock, and eh. I'm not quite sure anymore if that was the right play, but, you know, whatever. I, I, that's, that's how I rolled, so that's what I'm rolling with. Um, anyway, I do need residual damage on this guy, unless it has rest, which I don't think it will. Um, burn is going to at least be something on there, and I really, like, that's how this team deals damage, honestly. It gets burn everywhere so that everything is 25 to 50% dead, and then it hopes that <clears throat> Dragonite is still around and finishes up shop with one DD. Um, or, you know, obviously Tangrowth comes out of nowhere and just like, lol, sunny beam in the face. Um, so I'm just going to get some burns up here, and, and uh... Hopefully rack up a little bit of something. Um, again, I'm just going for weird-ass damage right here. And I figure, you know what? This might be the only time I use this team again. I'm just going to throw Solar Beam out there because I can. Uh, it did essentially nothing. I broke his balloon. La, 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 la. No, I didn't. Um, and here, there's... Uh, I want to go to a lot of different guys, but I'm going to try and shift the burn over first. He protects. Ugh. I probably should have rested on that turn. I really should have... Um, but I wanted to go to Ochu because I figured I, I knew I could scare it away if it stayed in doing, like, something. I knew I could scare it away and get a free sunny day up. Um, unfortunately, he went over to Machamp. Um, thankfully, he woke up when he tried to use a sleep talk, and so it didn't quite work out for him. And at this point, I'm just stuck using solar beams. I guess I have seen all six of his guys, so I know it's going to wreck everything. Thus, not really making it that bad of a situation. I, I guess I don't know why I should say I'm stuck using solar beam. Gosh, you know, like base 100 plus stab move 120 base power with life orb and i'm times two speed ah i'm stuck in this sweeping scenario anyway bastidon comes back in i completely spazzed out on protect if i remembered about protect i would have switched out to empoleon um actually no sun is still up so i probably should have went to heatran to use that last turn of sun um but even still, no, I could have gone to Empoleon and threatened the Hydro Pump and get Stealth Rock back up. I don't know, but uh, I get a really lame crit right there. I felt really bad. Tangrowth is obviously no slouch given the situation with 120, Stab, Life Orb, you know, really high special and all that jazz. I could have gone Earthquake for times 4 by the way, but I figured Solar Beam would do more. Um, but considering how generous he was, I just, I felt really lame. Anyway, I kind of expect his Scarf Terry to come in as a lead. 
um, especially since there's no stealth rock on the field right now. Therefore, I predict it and go out with my Aqua Jetter and boom! Terry takes one on the chin and he goes down for a dirt nap. Oh, that felt so good. And he was like, no, my Terry! Ah, yes, I'm claiming my independence from Terry. And he is gone. So Shaman comes in now um, and... I guess I don't really know where it wants to go. It could probably kill me with a Seed Flare from It could kill me with a Seed Flare from here. It could obviously kill me with Earthquake from here. Uh, it has Rest, and I don't think I've seen its fourth move. So that's still a little bit of a problem. Um, and considering my options, Crest is too weak because of all the protecting and the burn racking up on itself. So I can't afford to go to Crest. Unless, of course, I got Earth Power right, but I didn't know that. So I just had to let go be go. I just did. Um, I'm able to survive a Seed Flare, which I obviously expected to. I do get the drop, which is unfortunate. I know he's not going to Earthquake that turn, however, so I figure I'm safe to go into Heatran. That's no big deal. He switched as well. I wasn't really expecting him to switch there because I got the drop, or he got the special defense drop. So I, that really did surprise me. Um, I figure I'll take one turn to protect just to see what he wants to do. Uh, close combat's a low PP move, so I'm gonna, just going to stall a couple of those while I can. And then I figured, wait a second, I'm just going to be faster. This this is A-OK, -okay, you know? I'm just going to sub up on this thing, try and whittle some of its PP down. And uh, he went with Sleep Talk there trying to get out of the Torment shenanigans. I don't really think he should have predicted Torment on that turn because I wasn't safe yet, but he did. So that's where we stand. Um... Because of that, I'm going to Torment now, which I probably should have just went Lava Plume. Um, once Gobi went down, I wanted to keep him solely for the purpose of hitting Machamp. Uh, once he went down, I don't really have a way to hurt Machamp anymore outside of getting it burned, which it's a Guts Machamp, so that's not very good. Um, so I really should have just went for the Lava Plume when I had the chance. And uh, he's just switching around through the Torments at this point. And here we are now, I no longer have a sub. So I protect one more turn for lefties. Uh, whether he switched or not at that point, it wouldn't have mattered. And I'm just right back to square or wherever the hell I was. Uh, his defenses are lowered again, but I want two drops before I go for one Lava Plume on there. I don't think I can one-hit KO. Um, I'm fortunate that I get a sub up as he switches to Shaman. So again, some lame burn hacks. Uh, he could have rested it off. I would have protected that turn, so if he did use rest... I would then be guaranteed a free sub unless he has sleep talk and rest. That would be godly. Um, so I don't know how much it really mattered. It just felt bad and it looks worse. So ah, especially, again, back to how generous he was on turn one. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Instead, we are here. And that's over there. I don't know. Whatever. So but champ comes in. Uh, I know exactly what it's going to do, and I probably should have rested because I need to be at as much hit points as possible, and I need to get that thing burned, but I just, I don't know, I, I went for random ass damage instead, and it didn't work. Uh, unfortunately, he predicted a turn two wake, aka one turn sleep, and nailed me with a payback on the wake up, which was amazing. Uh, if he didn't get that, my mistake would have been fine, it would have been nullified, and I could have just rested anyway. Um, so kudos to him. Sleep Talk is just working in his perfect favor. He got the Ice Punch when he needed it. He predicted that wake up and got a payback for the kill off. Uh, it was just doing work. And now at this point, my hope is that I can saw out his close combats and you know render him useless against Heatran is really all I can do. Um, so I was able to get a nice sub up, but at this point, no more tormenting. Please just Lava Plume. I get the burn. Again, it's it's lame because I'm getting it so many times now in a row. Um, but it did so much damage at the same time. Like, I probably would have been okay. You know, he has to use close combat. Or just, no, close combat wouldn't lower defenses against sub. No, it's life orb I'm thinking of. Um, so I probably would have been okay at that point, even without the burn. Again, it's just now all of these hacks I'm starting to getting. I'm starting to getting. I'm starting to get just, they just look bad. Uh, but the game itself, um, now that it looks pretty much officially in the bag, uh, it was certainly a blast. There was a time in the middle I didn't know how I was going to kill a couple of his guys. Um, but this team just, it just seems to do that. It just seems to pull out damage that shouldn't be there. I even threw away Dragonite. Normally he's supposed to be the last guy to show up. Uh, so I made, a, I made a few mistakes. Um, I got some beneficial hacks. And a few things just worked out for me. I was just barely able to squeeze enough adva advantageous situations in my favor. And uh, 
thankfully, we got a really fun match out of it. Got to see a lot of good stuff like Guts Machamp and Resh Shaman and all sorts of jazz. Um, and Scar freaking Terry got a kill yet again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this match. Year 4 was amazing. Uh, my personal favorite team. All this jazz. So thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Catch you later. Peace.